The Irish last kicker on NXT. Definitely an electric feeling to this venue tonight. And guys, I'm pretty sure I can watch these women compete each and every week. Look at this. And she kicks out at two. Becky's as beautiful as an Irish landscape and as tough as an Irish steak. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Ooh! Sure. If you're gonna leave your feet, you gotta make sure you're gonna land the move. I gotta say, guys, Bianca Belair has wasted little. Thank you, Lynch. Got the disarmor. Perfectly executed, guys. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she'd better hope she can sustain it. Float over. Oh, and a DDT. As Byron mentioned, Bianca Belair's impact has been immediate. From her very first match in the 2017 May Young Classic, Bianca has been opening eyes. Yeah, and it's worth noting that in the first round of the May Young Classic, she gave up four inches and about 40 pounds to her opponent, but still won. That's a testament to Belair's immense strength. Inches off there. Inches. She missed by at least a foot pull. So much damage inflicted. I've seen some unique offenses over the years, Byron, but perhaps the most unique thing I've ever seen is when Bianca whips her opponents with her own hair. I have never seen anything like it, Michael. But I'll tell you what. If I was to give advice to anyone facing Bianca, it would be to turn the tables against her. Go ahead and whip her with her own hair. What a stop! Good grief! Not sure how much more Bianca Belair can take. To your point about Bianca's hair, Byron, I do think it's long enough that an opponent could likely use it as a weapon as well. Nope, that won't work. Grabbing an opponent's hair can lead to a disqualification. Besides, everybody knows the best way to prevent Bianca from using her hair is to cut it off, a la Brutus the Barber Beefcake. but she'd better hope she can sustain it. Don't know if it's going to work, but Becky is playing mind games now. Wait a minute. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. Oh, breakneck speed. Well, her a Karani. Becky Lynch, set up for the... We're looking at complete domination here. She got the shoulder up in time. Gonna take more than that to take down the Irish last kicker, folks. Beautiful. This could be the victory right here. And a kick out by Becky Lynch. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. what's gonna happen this match could go anywhere Irish whip <laughs> going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this
Ladies and gentlemen, by now I'm sure you've heard Bianca Belair describe herself as the EST of NXT. Corey, what exactly does that mean? I'll break it down for you, Michael Cole. It simply means that Bianca Belair is the strongest, the fastest, the sp Becky Lynch, the Bexploder. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. All that's left now is for Becky Lynch to finish. Got the disarmor. This one's over, guys. Corey, thank you for breaking down exactly what it means when Bianca Belair says she is the ist of NXT. But don't you think Bianca has a bit of an overinflated ego for somebody relatively new to the scene? Absolutely not, Saxton. Just ask top NXT stars like Candice LeRae or Lacey Evans if... if... They got him. Got that's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. The situation just got real bad for Bianca Belair. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. Ooh, what impact. And it's reversed. Takes her down with authority. Man, she went down like a ton of bricks that time. All measured up. Assault on the lower back. Oh man, she's rolling now. Becky is showing her stuff right now, big time. Becky Lynch, Sebastian suplex. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. She's calling her out. Becky Lynch got the disarmor. That's it. That's what she needed. These competitors are squaring off, looking to outmatch each other. It's going to be a tall task for one of these two. I don't know who's looking more forward to this, the women in the ring or me. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. And she comes up short. If you're gonna leave your feet, you gotta make sure you're gonna land. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. Oh, the arm's trapped. Big time slam. Vicious. Thank you, Lynn, the Bexploder. You gotta like her chances now. Lynch just too fast for her. Becky Lynch is looking for the ending. Axe handle finds its target. Becky Lynch is heading up. When she gets an attack, look at this. All measured up. Oh, perfect kick. Don't know if it's going to work, but Becky is playing mind games now. She's starting to falter here. The hopes of winning this match may very well be in jeopardy. I don't care how much... Neckbreaker! That's what makes her so dangerous. Oh, what a forearm!
the Irish last kicker, telling her opponents how she really feels. Oh, backbreaker flawlessly executed. Things have gotten worse for Liv Morgan. She could be out of this match. Her opponent is clearly getting the best of her here. I think this one's over. Oh. She's got her in her sights. Setting up for it. Oh, what impact. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, what a snap there. Oh, perfectly executed. Yeah, I love the effort here, oh. but she'd better hope she can sustain it. Nice exploder suplex. This one is over. Oh, and she gets out of the way. Incoming! And you can... It's the Queen of Spades! And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler! She is the real deal. One of the original four horse women of mixed martial arts. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one on one, mano a mano. And with the women's division as white hot as it is right now, you just know this match is going to be one for the ages. Forearms for the second rope. Driving down. Harsh impact. Shayna Baszler is no stranger to championships, having amassed titles in independent promotions and in MMA. However, the biggest jewel on the Queen of Spades crown was earned at NXT TakeOver New Orleans. Michael, on that night, Baszler was determined to right one of the few wrongs in her NXT career. The first time Ember Moon met the submission magician, Ember escaped with a roll-up pinfall. Baszler did not suffer that same fate again as she made Moon pass out in the Kirafuda clutch and left as there it is, the suplex, perfectly executed, guys. I think Becky Lynch just secured this match. Going back to that night that Shayna Baszler became NXT Women's Champion, I think it's pretty telling. He's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. Fire. Becky Lynch, nice exploder suplex. She is just so dominant. Oh, man, that hurt the back. Spine rattling. The stakes were high at 2016's Backlash, where one was... Uh-oh. Neck breaker. That could be it. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. It'll be hard for Shayna Baszler to come back now. Whoa! This is going to be big, one way or another. Look at this. And she comes up short. If you're going to leave your feet, you got to make sure you're going to land the move. 
to elaborate on that backlash match, fellas, the six-pack challenge is one of the more unpredictable forms of competition in WWE. I didn't think Becky would thrive in that type of environment. It's good to see you be wrong, Corey. Becky won and cemented her name in the WWE history books as the first SmackDown Live Women's Champion. I was honored to have called that match and witnessed Becky achieve her lifelong dream. Slam! Something that was important to Becky Lynch after she made history as the first ever SmackDown Live Women's Champion was to establish herself as a fighting. Setting up for a neckbreaker! I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Uh-oh. Neckbreaker! Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. To expand on Byron's point about Becky Lynch's mentality as the inaugural SmackDown Live Women's Champion, just take a look at the superstars who Lynch defeated to retain the title. Yeah, whether it's deserved or not, first champions are always celebrated in the history books. I'll give Becky her due. She deserves the accolades like she received as the first SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Using the elbow as a weapon. When you talk about great rookie year, Shayna Baszler's first year in NXT has to be in the conversation. She got more done in three months than most competitors do in three years. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she'd better hope she can sustain it. What grace! Float over into the DDT! Fight them! Becky, Michael mentioned Shayna Baszler's first year in NXT. Consider the fact that her first match was in January of 2018. By the end of the month, she was competing at NXT TakeOver. By April 2018, she was NXT. Setting up for it. Ah, what a neck breaker. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. All that's left now is for Becky Lynch to finish. If you ask a member of the WWE Universe about the four horsewomen, they'll likely refer to the quartet of Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. However, there's another group that lays claim to that moniker, and it includes Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Yeah, both groups actually met face-to-face -face at the Mae Young Classic. Ronda Rousey, Jessamyn Duke, and Marina Shafir were there to root on Shayna Baszler, and they met with WWE's group. Rousey told them, quote, you name the time, you name the place. The two of you brought up the collision between WWE's and MMA's four horsewomen, courtesy of Shayna Baszler. In the time since that showdown, Ronda Rousey has joined WWE, while the other two MMA horsewomen have begun NXT training. Guys, that showdown looms ever closer. I, for one, cannot wait. Not only because we'll see some of the best MMA and WWE competitors meet in the ring, but I'd love to see Baszler put Sasha Banks in the Kirifuda clutch and make the boss quit. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. Becky Lynch is one of the hardest working competitors. Becky Lynch set the Bexploder. She's back in full control now. Jeez, I felt that one over here. the bell and here we go this is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say this is what wwe's all about and the simple philosophy here is to stay as far away from the tables as humanly possible sounds easy right wrong Ooh, that's the impact i knew it was only a matter of time We have Mandy Rose competing here tonight. Let's talk strategy, Byron. 
Let me start. Actually, I'll take this, Cole. There is no strategy when taking on Mandy Rose. She's God's greatest creation. You literally cannot compete with that. Case closed. Question over. Nailed it. Well, we had Corey giving his uh, unbiased strategy discussion concerning Mandy Rose before. Byron, do you have an answer now? Thank you. There it is. Exploder suplex. There is no coming back from that one. Becky Lynch is looking for the ending. Uh-oh. Incredible. Through Kofi Kingston's career, the exciting superstar has competed in several types of WWE matchups. It didn't take long for Kofi to get comfortable in the tables match environment. At 2011's TLC event, Kingston took on the Celtic warrior Sheamus in a tables match for the United States Championship. Kofi was impressive in the match as he combined defense with his unbelievable high-flying assault. Becky Lynch, the exploder. That has got to be it. But now can Becky Lynch make the most of this? Byron, you spoke about Kofi Kingston's tables match against Sheamus at 2011's TLC event. Some people feel that match was one of the turning points for Kingston. That night, Kofi focused an offensively aggressive competitor. Kofi Kingston's focus was leaving TLC the new United States champion. And that approach paid off, Michael. Kofi seized opportunity when Sheamus made a rare mistake. He drilled the Celtic Warrior with the Trouble in Paradise kick, and that set up Kofi to... Becky Lynch, nice explorer suplex. Game, set, match, this one is over. Betty Rose has been successful in WWE, but she also has the less than honorable distinction of being the first person eliminated in both the inaugural Women's Royal Rumble and Women's Elimination Chamber. Hooked up. This one is, yes, takes it. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Ah, slammed with authority. Look at these repeated strikes. Here we go. Man, oh man. Wow, the crowd's on the edge of their seats. Sarah, look, we got a cover. And she kicks out. Not yet. It's no secret that Becky Lynch, shoulders on the mat. And Becky Lynch powers out. Too soon. Beginning to look bad for her here. But this one appears far from over, and she knows that. Nope, reverses it. Oh boy. German suplex! Woo. Tad on to our 
point about Becky Lynch's toughness. She might annoy me beyond description, but her opposition must land everything in their arsenal if they want any chance to defeat the Irish last kicker. That's true, Corey. There aren't too many superstars tougher than the fiery Irish redhead. The flame that burns inside Becky Lynch to succeed is more real than anyone can. Able to get out of the way there. The Irish last kicker telling her opponents how she really feels. Inside the ring now. What's going to happen here? Backbreaker. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Suplex. She may be in a bad way here. Momentum clearly not on her side right now, fellas. Jeez. I really expected much more from her here. Exploder suplex. No doubt about that one. What a treat we have here with WWE women's superstars in action. Oh, the arm's trapped. On a slam. Forearms for the second rope. Driving down. Sarah Logan has to find a way to get back on offense. This match is clearly taking it all out of her. This is all but over. Her opponent has been absolutely ruthless all night long. It's as if she refuses to lose here, guys. What a stomp. Good grief. Sarah Logan was just able to get out of the way there. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Look at her go. Becky is showing her stuff right now, big time. What a stop! Good grief! There it is, the Bexploder! Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Sarah Lump, cover here! And she kicks out with relative ease. Becky's as beautiful as an Irish landscape and as tough as an Irish steak. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Takes her off her feet. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. Oh, that's one way to bring it to her opponent. Big time. They got him. Got the up. Got the disarmor. That's it. That's what she needed. I think Becky Lynch just secured this match. No, she escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. Oh, nasty impact. And the cover for the win. This is it. And she kicks out. She's a warrior, guys. To the face. Hoping to end it here. This is it. Not much behind that pin attempt. Too soon. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she'd better hope she can sustain it. Things have gotten worse for Becky Lynch. She could be out of this match. This is not at all where she wants to be right now. I don't think I've ever seen her absorb this much punishment, Cole. If she can somehow pull this one off, it would be nothing short of a Exploder suplex. Now, she just needs to finish her off. All that's left now is for Becky Lynch to finish. And the cover for the win! Three! Oh, 
She's starting to stammer here. I think this match is starting to take it all out of her, guys. It looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight. And now she's paying for it. The elbow! Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. She's calling her out. You got him. Got the up. Get out the disarmer. And she looked like she had no chance just a few moments ago. You don't want to get locked into that move for a long time. The shoulders are down. One, two, three. Boom, a knee right to the face. We've got a cover. Where is she finding the strength to continue? And we continue. She's able to get out of the way there. The Irish last kicker telling her opponents how she really feels. Back in from the apron. Ring rattling. She is on fire. Thank you, Lynch. Nice exploder suplex. This one's over, guys. How is Sarah Logan going to survive? She goes for the cover. Sarah Logan kicks out easily. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Look at her go. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. Uh-oh, look at these repeated strikes. Here we go for the... Man, oh, man. She can pick up the win here, guys. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two! Digging deep for a kick out. And barely. Uh -oh. oh my goodness, crushing it! Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Oh, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. And from Shimong, New Jersey, Sonia Deville. Byron, I would love to see you interview Sonia Deville so she could punch you right in the mouth. I wouldn't enjoy that at all. Sonia Deville is as bad as they come. Sonia Deville, such a force in the women's division from tough enough. In As we get underway, I'm expecting a hard-fought match between these two superstars. The first one to make a mistake could fail. Boom, what impact! Nice. Shut it down. Look at Sonya Deville. She's almost out of... No, she escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. Harsh impact. And she's back in the ring now. This might be it! Oh, my! Ooh, what impact! Caught! <laughs> what a slam! Impactful! It'll we'll jar your spine. Oh, my goodness! Crushing it! You gotta believe this one's over. Oof, kick finds it. Don't know if it's going to work, but Becky is playing mind games now. This might be big. Oh, nice belly to back. That could be a game changer. Ooh. 
Look out. There she goes. Becky Lynch is looking for the ending. She's not too anxious to get up. She's in full control now. This is going to frustrate Becky Lynch. Back in from the floor. Uh, going to the top. High risk. Incoming. Look at the height. Becky Lynch is looking to fly. Look out. Oh, look at this. Quick thinking to avoid that one. In a submission match, the name of the game is to make your opponent tap out from a submission move. There have been so many submission specialists throughout the history of this great business. Brett Hitman Hart, Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar, William Regal, and Daniel Bryan are a few who come to mind. And on the women's side, I think about Alundra Blaze, Natalya, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and the boss, Sasha Banks. Corey, earlier you spoke about us. Becky Lynch setting up for the... She is on fire. Ooh, that could be a game changer. Does Becky Lynch even know where she is? She gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Watch out. This is where anything can happen. Tell me about it. Nailed it. She's looking at it. It doesn't look like she's going to get her to tap here. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Bam! What a slam! Boom! <laughs> when we talk about historic WWE debuts, there are not too many superstars who were introduced to the WWE Universe with the anticipation and excitement of the Irish last kicker, Becky Lynch. And Sonya Deville says, not this time. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. Sonya Deville has been rocked up pretty hard here. She might just have nothing left to give at this point. To elaborate on the point you made, Byron, since 2015, the women of WWE... There it is, the Bexploder. He's back in full control now. The force of that impact should put an end to this match right here. We. Now it's Becky Lynch fading a bit. We're going to see what she's made of here, guys. This type of match is not just brutal on your body, but your ego, too. Actually having to submit to your opponent is one of the most humiliating things a competitor can do. And if this keeps up, she might just have to do that. Luckily for her, she can afford to take on a bit of offense here. She's still in really good to disarm her. That should do it. This is not where she wants to be. Her opponent clearly has her number here. Well, she's been able to stay close to her opponent throughout this entire match, but this might just be where her luck runs out. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Two. I'm having a hard time fix. She might have it. Clearly not what she was hoping for when she applied this hole. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. She's looking at it. She better do something fast. Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising. No? Beautiful. 
beautiful technique. Sonya Deville has been roughed up pretty hard here. This is not at all how she threw this thing up, guys. That's over. Here we go. Becky Lynch setting it up. She better do something fast. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. What a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far. Exploder suplex. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. She's got something in mind. Becky Lynch got the disarmer. Game, set, match. This one is over. You don't want to get locked into that move for a long time. Ready for some mayhem? Ready for some... The battles between Becky Lynch and Ruby Riot on SmackDown Live went far beyond the scope of traditional singles competition. Yeah, they both always seem to have backup. Becky receives help from Charlotte Flair and Naomi as they clash against the Riot Squad's Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. We talked about the rivalry between Becky Lynch and Ruby Riot. Their encounters are so intense because both superstars can show technical skill or brawl all night long if they need to. All right, let's face facts, gentlemen. When Ruby Riot eliminated Becky from the first ever Women's Royal Rumble match, it just made matters worse. Like pouring kerosene on a flame, this rivalry is bound to burn on. Ah, uh, backbreaker. <laughs> 2018 marked another pivotal step for the women's evolution when the first ever women's Royal Rumble match took place. Becky Lynch made sure she was, and she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. Becky Lynch, some nice explorer suplex. This could be the turning point, Cole. What a stomp. Good grief. Uh -oh. the oh, we talked about the inaugural Women's Royal Rumble match, Michael. I gotta give Becky Lynch a shout out because she was the Rumble's second entrant and put together an impressive showing. Against my better judgment, I have to agree with you, Saxton. I tip my hat to Becky Lynch. She didn't win the Rumble match, but she lasted more than 30 minutes in the historic battle. trapped. Ooh. At this point, it's fair to wonder how much force she has to give here tonight. She's not looking so good here, guys. She's going to need to find a way to fend off some of this offense and quickly. Well, she really can't afford to take on too much more damage and still be able to execute effectively in there. Look at this! Time. technique. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. What a stomp. Good grief. Becky Lynch, the exploder. This one's over, guys. I think Becky Lynch just secured this match. Becky Lynch got the disarmer. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here.
and there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. Oh, what height! <laughs> Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. When it comes to Ember Moon, one thing's for certain, guys. She made an instant impact, handily beating Billy Kay in her first ever match at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2. Oh, that might have just broken something. Uh -oh. oh, my goodness, crushing it! I have to agree with what Byron was saying about Ember Moon's debut. She made her presence felt on day one and never looked back, beating some pretty big names in the process. Yeah, anytime you could say you defeated the likes of Shayna Baszler and Ruby Riot, you know you're legit. Uh -oh. oh my goodness, crushing it! It's no secret that Becky Lynch is one of the toughest superstars in WWE. It takes a lot to bring the last kicker down. Corey, where do you think that toughness comes from? Well, remember, Cole, Becky was a tomboy as a kid and endured grueling training for the ring courtesy of one Finn Balor. I saw her train in NXT. It's going to take a lot to keep Becky down. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. Beautiful technique. To add on to our point about Becky Lynch's toughness, she might annoy me beyond description, but her opposition must land. Becky Lynch, second nice Explorer Suplex. There is no coming back from that one. All that's left now is for Becky Lynch to finish. Watching Ember Moon the past few years, Corey, one thing I've learned is that her drive to succeed may be unmatched. I don't disagree, Cole, it's that drive that makes her so hard to defeat. I got him. Got the arm. Uh, got the disarmer. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Jeez, I don't like Ember Moon's chances in this one. Nice calf kick, great elevation. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Man. Now the arm's trapped. These competitors are walking on dangerous ground right now. Suplex! Uh -oh. Oh, oh my goodness, crushing it! Wow, that won't separate your shoulder, that'll divorce it. He's starting to stagger a bit. By no means is this dire straight for her, though. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. At this point, I think it's fair to call into question her preparation for this match. She's clearly being outclassed right now. Ooh. Beautiful. 
beautiful technique. To destroy your face. That could give her the momentum she needs. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's one way to bring it to her opponent. Big time. <laughs> Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Toss to the outside. Oh, and she gets out of the way. And she's back in the ring now. Ooh, right in the face. Destroyed. She's starting to falter here. She needs to find a way to get back on the offensive here. It looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight, and now she's paying for it. You know, it just might not be your night, guys. You hate to see it, but hey, that happens every now and then. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Ring rattling. Look at her go. There it is, the Bexploder. I knew it was only a matter of time. Wow, that won't separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. I don't know if Sane can take much more of this. Well, she's as good as done. She's walking the plank, so to speak. Ha. This may very well be the beginning of the end for her. Kyrie Sane needs a comeback, but the Pirate Princess has what it takes to right the ship. I wish someone would shoot you with a cannonball, Byron. Don't know if it's going to work, but Becky is playing mind games now. Big slam. Becky Lynch is looking to fly. Look at this jumping, leaping attack. All measured up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Trapped. Oh, and a slam. All measured up. Boom, uh -oh. Not uh -oh. the oh. oh, my goodness, crushing it. It took less than a month for Kyrie Sane to immediately become one of WWE's top talents. And she did so by winning the first ever May Young Classic. Becky Lynch may be starting to fade here. Though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. Byron brought up Kyrie Sane's arrival as part of the Mae Young Classic. She joined a field featuring 32 of the best women. Becky Lynch, nice exploder suplex. This one's over, guys. I don't know if Sane can recover. Probably not. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. We saw 30 women make history in 2018 as the first ever Women's Royal Rumble headlined an epic pay-per-view. Raw and SmackDown competitors join legends and even a few NXT stars, including Kyrie Sane. Michael Kyrie Sane was actually the very first NXT star to... Uh-oh. Ah, oh, what a neck breaker. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Going back to Kyrie Sane's appearance in the Royal Rumble, she walloped Sasha Banks so hard with the insane elbow that night. I heard that Banks actually couldn't see the spotlight for the rest of the evening.
Unfortunately, Sane's night ended a bit earlier than expected, thanks to Dana Brooke, who obviously worked overtime crunching the numbers in order to eliminate the Pirate Princess. Load over. Oh. And it was DDT! What grace! Float over into the DDT! DDT. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. Becky Lynch set the backsploder. That should do it. She's got her in her sights. Setting up for a neckbreaker. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. If at first you don't succeed. We may have a count out here, guys. It certainly looks that way, Michael. Some damage has been dished out, but certainly not enough to assume this one's even close to being over. Look out. There she goes. And the slam. Kyrie Sane has been called the Pirate Princess and is the name she's truly earned. Before stepping in the ring, she actually competed in yacht races. Look, I'll give you the princess part. Zayn definitely became royalty when she won the Mae Young Classic. But just because she sails doesn't make Kyrie a pirate. She seems way too nice to swashbuckle, quite frankly. Second too soon. Close call there. Avoids trouble there. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. These competitors are just trying to stay under control. I had the chance to tour the WWE Performance Center earlier today, which is not too far from us here in Orlando. It's such an amazing state-of-the-art facility. Uh-oh. Neckbreaker! Ouch! I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Don't know if it's going to work, but Becky is playing mind games now. Becky is showing her stuff right now, big time.
She doesn't want to get counted out here. Oh, she better get back in that ring then. Oh, come on.